Hello and welcome to Wizard Gaming. Wizard's my name. I'm currently at the repair shop in La Harbour. Now, let's go into the repair shop um, and just have a look at the configurations. Um, there's not much I can do here. There's nothing I can do here. This is what we're looking at. Now, what we're looking at is the torque of the motor. I've got a 600 horsepower. It's got 2,644 newton meters of torque. The next one we can look at is a 700 horsepower, 3,050 newton meters of torque. Okay. That's one I'd probably be looking at because all the ones other than that are a bit small and below our the gearbox we're running is probably the maximum gearbox we need for this uh, particular truck we don't need to change the colors unfortunately um, i've lost all my gizmos for the truck so i'm gonna have to uh, load them back in later okay so the main thing that we're looking at is possibly upgrading to a Caterpillar 700 horsepower um, to give us a bit more uh, oomph. Um, but that's that's how we uh, will look at it. We'll just exit without changing anything because I'm going to leave that up to the viewers. Now. Let's go into, I'll go into buy a truck because I'll, um, we'll uh, have a look at the mods. Now, that's our Mac. That's the one we're using. Now, we've got a, a good old freight liner, old school. Um, as you can see, it's an old uh, older truck. We've got that puts a window on this side. Um, our axles, well, you know, we'll do the right thing. We'll always go double axle. Um, we've got. The standard motor. Now, what I'd probably look at this is we'll start this off with a 600 horsepower anyway, right? Um, the gearbox we'll put in it would be probably, yeah, I don't know. Um, I like 18 speed, but. And 12. 16 plus, uh, 12 plus one. Um, the dash configuration, well, you can't do anything about that. The painting configuration, well, that's what I'm going to do myself. We've got, you know, other pretties we can put on it when they load. Um, extra exhaust pipes, etc. blah, blah, blah. All right. But basically, that's one I'm looking at, right? Is the freight liner. Uh, where have we got? We don't want... Uh, that one's not too bad. Volvo, what have we got in Volvo? We've got a uh, freight liner. That's a current model. That's a Kenworth W900A. We've got a, another freight liner, which is similar to the other freight liner, I should say. So what we'd be probably looking at would be a freight liner, FLB. Um, not yet for the Kenworth. Maybe a um, Kenworth 900B. 
That's the A series. Uh, that one's too current at the moment. They're just after what I'm thinking of. So yeah, probably the FLB or the W900 would be probably the the next two trucks that I'd be looking at in um, in uh, this Let's Play. Not that one. That one. Right, uh, W900. Now. Uh, day cab, you've, uh, you know, you've got day cab, sleeper cab. I normally use a sleep, a sleep, uh, studio sleeper. And you'd probably go down to a, um, 300 gallon tank. Now you've got, 600, 625, and 700. The 625 is the highest in Newton meters in a standard motor. So I'd probably put that in the Kenworth uh, to start with. Then we'd look at the 700. Uh, the gearbox we'd probably put in that would be an 18 speed retard. Um, different dashes. We've got um, yeah, a lot of different things we can change to the outside. And we've got things we can change on the inside. So at the moment, um, it looks like you've got a freight lineup and a Chem, uh, Kenworth W900 will be probably the next two uh, trucks in the game. So you're looking at a Freightliner FLB low cap and a and a W900 um, Kenworth. Now, um, over here we've got base trucks. Now, at the moment, what I was thinking about more than likely doing is we won't be using them at the moment. I want to you know, do as much as I can with a couple of modified trucks and uh, carry on from there. But the, um, we could probably put in um, a bigger motor into this one until we uh, get to the time or mileage zone that you wish me to swap out the truck. I'll show you another thing here. Let's go into standard trailers. When you uh, get on with your trucking VLC or your truck company, you can buy these trailers. Um, they do cost. Now, particular trailers, um, will only end up in certain um, certain areas of the map. Now I know these big double trailers here can be um, put into Finland. I know they can be put into uh, Denmark. Um, they can't go into Sweden. I'm not quite sure about uh, Norway, um, but yeah, all the little trailers, the ones that aren't a double trailer, they can go anywhere on the map. So that's just a hint. Anyway, this is just a little prelude to um, what I missed out on in the last uh, Let's Play. So. Down in the comment section below, you will find a mileage that I've calculated out when to change the trucks. That mileage will be 10,000 miles, 15,000, 20,000, 25,000. 
in corresponding to that it'd be A, B, C or D. Leave an A, a B or a C or a D in the comment section below. That will give me a guideline to what to change the truck at and that guideline will stick to um, European trucks and American trucks. And let's place. So if you say A, I want you to change it at 10,000 miles, the 10,000 miles will end up being 10,000 miles for the European truck simulator let's play, 10,000 miles for the American truck simulator let's play that I'm doing. And we'll keep that as a standard. So whenever we get to that mileage, we'll upgrade the truck, something totally different, and we'll go from there. Anyway, thank you for watching this little um, uh, demo or uh, explanation. My dog still wants to get onto uh, YouTube and be a fan again. Okay, not a problem. Thank you for watching. My name is Wizard. My YouTube channel is Wizard Gaming. Until next time. Hooroo.